Keystone offers an NPR tool that can be used to reconstruct CT sequences into axial, sagittal, and coronal planes. NPR reconstruction can be vital in the visualization of anatomy which was not possible using the base CT sequences alone. To utilize Keystone multiplanar reconstruction, start by logging in at keystone.asteris.com or through the Omni desktop application. Select a CT study and open the viewing canvas. Highlight your desired sequence and allow it to download into the viewing pane. Watch the green bar for download progress. Now you can either right click or select the viewer settings to activate multiplanar reconstruction on the highlighted sequence. Keystone will begin rendering and loading the volumes into a standard three pane canvas. This does require a reasonable amount of RAM and ideally a standalone graphics processing unit for peak performance. You can check your NPR performance by clicking the question mark at the top right of the viewing window. Several options will be available including check NPR performance. This tool will notify you of any shortfalls on drivers, memory, and graphics processing. Let's get into the viewing panes. As you can see, I have the transverse, sagittal, and coronal planes available in a 1x3 canvas set to default. You can modify the panes by selecting the viewer settings at the top left and adjusting the canvas to your liking. Additional options in the viewer layout settings include toggling overlay text, orientation markers, view axis, and synchronization of windows leveling. The toolbar includes all available tools within the standard canvas, with the addition of rotate slice plane, intensity projection, and switch views. The plane tool provides horizontal and vertical rotation across the active slice plane. Click and hold the configured mouse key within the highlighted viewing pane to rotate the desired axes. Intensity projection provides interpolation of slice thickness. The default setting is maximum intensity projection. There are four modes available. No blend, maximum intensity projection, minimum intensity projection, and average intensity projection. The switch tool allows you to toggle the position of the active view with another view. You can utilize Alt plus click or Option plus click for Mac as a shortcut. The colored dot indicator helps associate views with the same colored axis in the other two views. Click to toggle full screen layout for this particular view. To rotate any given axis, click and drag any of the available circular handles. Both respective planes will rotate simultaneously. Double clicking any of the circles resets the axes to their default position. If you want to isolate rotation to a single plane, Shift plus drag the color-coded circle to rotate the desired axis. Example, if you want to rotate the sagittal image, shift plus click the purple circle. For the coronal, shift click the blue circle. Shift plus double click will reorthogonalize the axis if the axis was rotated individually. To adjust slice thickness, drag the square handles respectively. The expanded volume will display the thickness amount in millimeters at the bottom left of the individual panes. That's going to conclude this tutorial on Keystone Omni 2D Multiplanar Reconstruction. Be sure to check us out at www.asteris.com and tune in for more tutorials and guides.